Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to properly seat and clamp apart or piece of stock material in a machining vise. These are fundamental skills anyone operating a mill should know. When your part or stock material isn't properly seated and clamped, mistakes and problems can occur. Not adequately securing your part or stock material in a vise can lead to catastrophic results. <laughs> Another mistake often made is just the basic lack of preparation and cleanliness. One small chip getting in between your part, your vise, or parallels could affect the outcome and overall quality of the final product. So before milling or machining a part, you always want to take the adequate steps to ensure your work area is properly prepared and your piece of stock is properly seated. When milling or machining a part, you always want to use the provided tools to make sure your vise and the area around your vise is clean and free from chips. The most common tool for keeping the area around your vise clean is the air blow gun. Before and after milling apart, you always want to blow away chips and other debris. Don't assume the person using the machine before you left the work area clean. With the right door closed and your safety glasses on, stand behind the door, reach around, and blow away any chips around the vise and especially around the vise jaws. Once the area around your vise is clean and free of chips, go ahead and grab the appropriate parallels. Parallels are used to elevate your part or stock material above the vise. This is to ensure your milling tools do not crash and come in contact with the vise. Now let's go ahead and place the parallels alongside our vise jaws. You can use springs or other clamps to hold your parallels in place, but we're going to use these magnetic parallel keepers so our parallels don't fall over. Now inspect your piece of stock material. Be sure to file down any burrs or small jagged sharp edges. Then go ahead and place your piece of stock material on top of your parallels. Then slide it along your parallels so it's pushed up against your vise stop. The vise stop will ensure that your part or piece of stock material is properly positioned. It also allows you to machine and reproduce the same part over and over again without having to adjust your X and Y G54 work offsets. It essentially provides a reliable position for your machine to reference over and over again. Using your calipers, you always want to measure the distance from the top of your stock material to the top of your vise jaws. This is to ensure there is enough clearance so our milling tools do not crash into the vise. Once your part is resting on the parallels and backed up against the vise stop, go ahead and grab your vise handle and start tightening the vise jaws to securely clamp your part. For consistency and reliability, use a torque wrench to tighten your vise to the correct force or pressure setting. Check how well your piece of stock is seated by moving the parallels below it. If the parallels are loose, grab a dead blow hammer or a rubber mallet and strike the top of the stock material. Check your parallels again to make sure they're secure and no longer moving or loose. With the parallels unable to move, you can be certain your part or piece of stock is parallel with the vise surface and they won't come loose during the milling process. Oftentimes we'll be using soft jaws as a custom fixture to secure our parts. Soft jaws are custom machine fixtures that bolt onto a vise. They're used to secure a part with an asymmetrical or regular shape. They're called soft jaws because they are typically made of soft metals such as aluminum. To install the soft jaws, go ahead and remove the four hex bolts on your vise jaws.
set the bolts aside. Remove the steel vice jaws. Now go ahead and screw in the four hex bolts we just took out. Make sure the bolts are nice and tight. Grab your vise handle, tighten the vise. Grab your part and place it into the soft jaws. Once again, grab your vise handle and go ahead and start tightening and clamping your part. Hold down on the part as you tighten it. When using soft jaws, it's important that you apply just the right amount of pressure. Too little pressure and the part can become loose or even break free from the soft jaws. However, if you apply too much pressure, you can actually damage the part, especially if you're machining plastic and other soft materials. So just to summarize, always check to make sure that the area around your vise is clean. Blow away any chips or debris with the blow gun. Then check to make sure your part or stock material is properly resting on the parallels and backed up against the vise stop. Then use the calipers to make sure your part is adequately elevated so your tools do not crash into the vise. Use the vise handle and tighten the vise so your part material or stock is securely clamped. Check to see if your parallels are loose. If so, strike the top of the material with a dead blow hammer or rubber mallet. Remember, failure to properly seat and clamp your part or stock material in the vise can have serious consequences, but following the proper procedure will allow you to continually produce quality parts time and time again. This concludes this lesson. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.